I can't wait for Saturday night. It's gonna be a, <laughs> it's gonna be a massacre. For a long time, fighters have used trash talk in combat sports. And for many different reasons, increasing popularity, causing controversy, and gaining notoriety. The money that you earn gonna go to your hospital bills. Even in more recent circumstances, to chase the sport's biggest paydays. But I bet you won't talk to me like that. I'll make you swallow your goddamn teeth. Much like Floyd toward the end of his career, with a never-ending list of willing and ready opponents. I'm looking forward to destroying Mr. Floyd Money Mayweather. However, as you move upwards through the weight classes, those same high-end rewards and incentives come with a much more perilous risk. Especially against a man whose right hand is being appraised as one of the most devastating punches in the history of the sport. That is why he is so dangerous. As discouraging as it may be, the Bronze Bomber is certainly no stranger to confrontation. And with a young and lively crop of heavyweights, the best is yet to come. That is one scary individual. So here we flick through past matchups where people look to upset Wilder on his rise to becoming champion, the heated altercations, the audacious statements, and the short-lived promises, catch a case. all of which didn't age too well. That belt ain't going nowhere, I promise you that. Please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, and press the bell button to be notified of our latest videos. As we look at before and after fighting Deontay Wilder, welcome to a Motivedia presentation. First up, a fighter who had become distinctly uncomfortable in the upper echelons of the paid ranks, Audley Harris. His legs have gone. Audley Harrison is the prize fighter champion. Current champion, the future. No. Whilst the Brit wasn't overly harsh or disrespectful, he believed this was his opportunity to turn around his career. I've got a lot of love for him, a lot of respect for him. But, you know, it's a shame that he's the guy I'm going to have to go through to get to my goals, but that's just the way it is. Though on the night where Harrison lacked the elite level brutality and killer instinct, his American opponent was quite the opposite. There's the right hand, that's the big shot, and he goes looking for Harrison straight away. A night that, over in just one minute, would be the final time the gold medalist would step through the ropes. Felt great, felt comfortable, felt calm, and I get banged out, so it's like, it's gonna be a hard one. This one's gonna be a hard one for me to take, because I know all my, all my ducks were lined up for this one, and I was ready to go. Next, one of the best heavyweight buildups of recent years. A matchup that showed Wilder could walk the walk and talk the talk. I'm about to put this Haitian on permanent vacation. With malice and genuine dislike for one another, Haitian fighter Bermain Stiverne brought the heat. I'm gonna keep your record clean because you ain't gonna pass four rounds. After this fight, you will never, ever, ever want to hear about Deontay Wilder. Stiverne against Wilder, about to get underway. Winning every round, mainly due to punch output, the American cruised to a unanimous victory. Though as Stiverne Stiverne became the first of Wilder's opponents to hear the final bell, it left reason for a second fight, which would come three years uh, later. I go back and, you know, but what can you do, you know? It's just, uh, it's just part of the game. Coming into the fight, brimming with confidence, on the back of three knockout wins, next we saw sturdy Texan Eric Molina. A man certain that he could expose the flaws in Deontay's technique, capitalize, and snatch the WBC strap. I'm just as big as he is, and I could punch. I hurt every single other guy that I've been in the ring with thinking that I wouldn't hurt them. And I, got, I guarantee you, I'm coming in knowing that I could hurt this guy. Though under the bright lights, in Wilder's home state of Alabama, those hopes slowly began to fade. He goes down faster than a plate of Alabama barbecue! After the fight, and after feeling the power, Molina had nothing but praise for the Bronze Bomber. I think Deontay Wilder is the hardest punching heavyweight of all time. And uh, I'm not saying he's the best heavyweight of all time. I think the guy can knock a bull out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to bring our fighters up to the scale. Of Where some heavyweights preferred to limit their aggression, considering the American's power, 
Others preferred to tackle it head on. Much like Wilder's next opponent, nicknamed the Polish Pen, Arthur Spilka. A matchup that, after clashing at every opportunity in the buildup, would be settled once and for all at the Barclays Center. Remember, remember Sam, I'm gonna kick your ass. And after having some success of his own in a bout that also lasted nine rounds, he fell victim to another trademark highlight reel ending. Comes down! Now we need immediate medical attention to Arthur Spilka. He punched me left and right, right one time. I don't know, big, big, but yeah. I think no strong, but right. rough one hand, right hand, like I don't remember yeah. now. You <laughs> know why? Next up, a man who set the record for the most punches in a heavyweight round a few months ago. They continue to go at it early in round two. Chris, the Nightmare Areola. Plain and simple, I just gotta win every round. Win around, win around, win around. Plain and simple. Something that he hoped three years ago would give him the edge against one of the fastest rising heavyweights. I'm thinking about what's coming after I win this title. I know the kind of fight I have to bring to Deontay Wilder. I gotta keep him in his heels at, uh, as much as I can. Though overcoming a broken hand to still win by knockout in the eighth, Deontay progressed comfortably to 36 and 0. Whoever got those belts, that's who I want. As you can see, it don't matter if I got a broken hand, got a full muscle, whatever, I'm still gonna fight because that's what champions do. And in the aftermath, Ariola, with no excuses, had nothing but praise for Wilder. Wilder, all the credit, man. He, he beat me with that jab, that strong jab, that smart jab. And he just came me on the outside. I couldn't, I couldn't figure him out. I, I got to give him all the respect in the world, man, because uh, he was just a much better fighter today. I'm coming there clean, man, and I'm, I'm going to show you, man. I'm going to shock the world. Another six months on, another game and lively opponent. This time, 18-0 unbeaten prospect and former USC football player, Gerald Washington. You know, and I'm a dangerous threat to Deontay Wilder, and I'm coming, I'm coming for him. And, and I'm not gonna be nice, you know, it's, it's not gonna be pretty. A man who would step in to replace Wilder's Polish opponent, Warzik, after failing a drugs test. And a man who vowed to make things ugly when he squared off against the WBC champion. You know, he's, gonna, he's gonna take me serious real fast. It's not gonna take long to say, all right, let's do this for real. After a four round feeling out process, the bronze bomber eventually hit home to secure a fifth round stoppage and a fifth title defense. Oh, in the shot, oh. it all changes. You know, I was like, this is what it is. You know, I, I was surprised myself, you know what I mean? But, uh, but I, I just, I just, that was just a little lack of experience, man. A little lack of poise, you know what I mean? Uh, I am the bad. I do hit the hardest. I am the most feared. <laughs> Record speaks for itself. Two years ago, at the end of 2017, the Stivern rematch was set. You fear for my life? I don't fear for your life. If, it, if, if that's what it takes for me to take that title, that's what I'm gonna do. November 4th, I promise you to God, I will be two-time everywhere champion of the world, and none of these gonna stop me. And whilst it wasn't the big fight that fans were anticipating, the chance to see the drama and animosity one last time was too good to miss. Crack your ribs, I'm gonna crack your jaw, and you will retire. Though where all the hype and the war of words lived up to expectation, the fight itself was short and sweet. He is right the rockings to burn! Over in round one, in truly devastating fashion, Wilder's second time round dismantling of Stiverne sent shockwaves through the division. It was uh, unfortunate that it happened the way it happened. It happened fast. You know, some sometimes, you know, uh, things happen and you get punched uh, in certain places that you can't recover. A month later, commentating at ringside on another of the division's elite, saw the Bronze Bombers' next move unfold. And after a second round demolition of Daniel Martz, King Kong, another man who would take an immediate disliking to the American, made his intentions clear. I want to fight you. You want to fight me? Yeah. When you want to fight me? When? When, when, you ready? when are you ready? No, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready for you. All right, say by the phone, baby. A back and forth clash, which saw Wilder's unbeaten record hanging on a knife edge. The 
before being equalized by his get out of jail card, crunching his Cuban opponent in the 10th. You know, he wasn't knocked out. He was completely fatigued and, and destroyed, tired. So, you know, it is what it is. That's what got him more than anything else. He would have preferred to get knocked out. Next, one of the biggest heavyweight collisions of the decade. Where an Anthony Joshua mega fight couldn't be made, Tyson Fury instead threw himself straight in at the deep end. After two years out, place anywhere, I'll fight you in your back garden. Like a dumb glitch go, I'll beat you, you bum. You're a bum. Though, despite the respect that came with taking the fight, it certainly didn't make them any more friendly during the build up. I'm going to make this bum quit. I'm going to make him quit. Another incredible heavyweight showcase that surpassed all expectations. And whilst the night ended in a draw, it offers a chance to see two of the sport's most controversial characters collide once again. Never mind anybody. Me and this man here are the two best heavyweights on the planet. Deontay Wilder is the most fierce puncher in boxing history, in heavyweight division history. I saw that I felt it. I can't wait for Saturday night. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a massacre. Last but certainly not least was the most recent of his 42 fight unbeaten campaign against Dominic Brazil. A matchup that, with history between the two, made for the most hostile buildup of the Bronze Bombers' career. I'm catching Wilder's retirement plan. I'm gonna beat him so bad that he's not gonna want to ever lace up the gloves. The money that you're gonna earn gonna go to your hospital bills. Trust me. Trust me. I am the king. After a brawl in a hotel lobby two years prior that involved teams and families, this one was personal. You want it? You got it. However, on the night as consistent as ever, Wilder turned his closest rival into his most harrowing victory. I was like, you know what, let me get back in the ring, yeah. make sure this chin's still intact. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I think I found a vicious beast inside of me, man. Like, um, I've gotten to a point where it's like, I'm no longer waiting to see what my opponent has. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go find out. Nigel yearned to cross the street, but he was just a little duck. More than anyone you'll meet, he had daring skill and pluck. He jumped out boldly on little feet, and barely missed a racing truck. The passers-by didn't miss a beat, shouting, holy cow, and what the Motivedia presentation.